Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and today I am going to announce that on this course Build for Project in Azure Data Engineering, I am going to give 30% discount. You can use Build for promo code. You can, as you can see over here, this is the promo code, right? And uh, you can apply this. You can click on this buy now option and you can redirect it to the payment gateway and then you can do all the payment. So now let's understand what I am giving uh, on in this uh, course. So there is already a video dedicated video. I have made it and it's available on the YouTube. So you can click on here and uh, here you will be seeing like four courses build end to end Azure data engineering project. Second one is build data lake architecture using delta table and master in Azure data factory with Power BI and ETL and understand Microsoft fabric from basic to advanced. Okay, so you can see you can click on uh, now you might be uh, you you might have the doubt that hey Saga, I want to understand the complete structure or the table of content of each courses. So what you can do you can click on this button you know you can click on this button and then you will be redirected to the to the uh, uh, this particular course and you will be seeing the uh, curriculum okay now 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 let me just explain you in brief what i am giving you and what i have built in this project so this is build complete end to end azure data engineering project so if you are working for a service based company or maybe a product based company they are a team who uses uh, multiple component of uh, Azure or we can say multiple resources of Azure. So they use ADF for ETL, I mean not ETL, just doing copy activity or to scheduling the, uh, to scheduling the uh, jobs, right? And then what they do, they, they use Databricks, uh, you know, to process the data, whatever the data is present in the raw layer or whatever it is, they are processing it via Databricks, via, via Apache Spark. And once it is done, then what they do is that they, uh, they, they create some logic app, right, to send emails or, you know, to send uh, some notifications to other users and they use Azure Runbook or we can say pa cloud powershell to automate uh, some uh, some processes let's say to stop the vm to start the vm and so 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 correct and uh, and also we use power bi also at the end goal and apart from this we use what we use azure key vault and uh, we use azure devops to deploy the adf databricks powershell logic app from lower environment to the upper environment right so that's how i mean if you know this adf databricks or see you just need to know two things adf and databricks and little bit python and little bit sql if you know little bit all this stuff then you can start this build and uh, build end-to-end -end Azure Data Engineering project. This course is, you know, build real-time Delta Lake. So I am talking about, uh, I am talking about this project. Okay, so build real-time Delta Lake project using PySpark and uh, Spark SQL with Databricks. So this is a project. Uh, you know, you can consider that hey. The, uh, I'm using only Databricks here. I'm using complete PySpark, complete Python and little bit Spark SQL or we can say SQL, right? So we are going to build a Mendelian architecture on, on the top of uh, Delta Lake. So we are using Gen2 Data Lake and on top of that, we are making here a Delta Lake, not a Data Lake. Correct. And, uh, you know, writing some uh, pulling the data from multiple sources, REST APIs, SQL servers, uh, you know, ADS Gen2 blob or whatever, and you know, comparing the data, manipulating the data, and making a little bit model of it out, out of it, and putting the data into some gold layer. And then, uh, then you know, sending emails to user via Databricks only using SMTP library, and scheduling the notebooks using Databricks workflow, right? So all these things I have shown in this project, right? Now there is a master in Azure Data Factory project. So this is the project, you know, where I have shown you how we can perform the, uh, you know, ETL using Azure Data Factory itself. So if you know that, uh, if you know that uh, using uh, 
using adf we can also spin up a spark cluster which is nothing but a data data flows so i am i am manipulating the data using data flows joining two data uh, data data set and you know uh, doing some operation over there putting the data into that and then you know uh, what i am doing i am here uh, making a power bi report out of the our gold layer data and then doing a deployment you know from low environment to upper environment so depends on you what see i would consider i have been in the industry for almost 5 years i have seen a lot of project where people are using only single component right let's say data database now i will say hey i'm not going to use adr for logic app, or blah blah blah, blah st stuff i'm just using database i am i will write my own code and i'll do all the things with the help of database so i can do that right now now there is a small project right let's say a uh, gbs of data or let's say the uh, the project is not very complex then i can maybe i can use my, uh, only azure data factory to do all the stuff right and maybe if the project is very complex then i can say no i have to use logic app over there i have to use powershell i have to use adf and others other thing and this is the microsoft fabric uh, why it is not okay no now you can see we have this end to end microsoft fabric tutorial and project so uh, today i mean now companies are moving toward microsoft fabric i have a friend in microsoft he recently got uh, a job in it so he was saying that these those guys are migrating azure synapse pipelines to the microsoft fabric okay so if microsoft is using microsoft fabric because they have only built the tool so definitely other company are going to use the same tool in near future so it's better that you have uh, you understand the microsoft fabric uh, right and see if you know adf spark or data warehouse concept you can easily learn microsoft fabric it's just a combination of all these things and putting into a one one subscription or we can say one workspace right and build a small project so that you will understand like uh, how we can uh, you know create a one lake or data lake or whatever it is right so yeah that's it for today's video if you are interested please subscribe to this course uh, there is a you can save a lot of money and also this promo code is valid till monday so uh, and only for 20 students right so if you're interested enroll it Otherwise, no worries. I am going to launch some other courses also on my YouTube uh, uh, free playlist. Maybe I am going to launch a fast API course in near future or a snowflake course in near future. So please subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you. Bye bye.